Welcome back Ponzi coders. Now that we've got our sound working, uh, the next thing we're going to add is a new UI component called edit text. It's going to be placed right above there and it's going to allow our users to type in um, whatever symbol they want to and then when they click on get quote whatever the symbol is uh, will come out in our uh, three text view fields alright so let's get started let's go over to uh, Eclipse and the first thing we need to do is to open the layout file the main XML file and there's a couple of ways where we can put uh, this in I'm going to add it via the graphical layout hopefully it's not going to take oh cool didn't take long at all all right so see this edit text here this is one of the form widgets we're going to place it in between our get quote button or right it, uh, above it I'm going to let that go and so now we have a place to uh, to put in text now I'm going to go back in to the, kind of the raw XML um, control shift F control shift F now it's actually command shift F um, will format this for you so we've got edit text I'm gonna give it an ID of uh, let's say I don't know set symbol sounds good enough um, and we don't want Android text but we do want what's called an Android uh, hint so it's Android colon um, you can do control space to see yeah there it is Android hint and the hint is going to be let's see let's just have it say uh, type in symbol put it in caps and the reason we want to make that a hint versus text is the hint will actually go away once um, the user starts uh, typing in a symbol so go ahead and save that and then let's go into our Java code the main class and let's go up here and I'm going to create a new section called input just some comments and this is going to be using the edit text class um, and we called that set symbol so just like with the uh, text views buttons and media players doing we're setting up the uh, reference variable we're gonna go ahead and import that package and then we'll come up here and set symbol is equal to we'll cast it as an edit text and do our fine view by you know what to do here r dot id dot and there's our set symbol and what else here so we have it inflated we've got it connected to our reference variable and now we need to come down to the URL because that's when we where we actually input stuff um, and we're gonna take out Google G O O G and I'm gonna put a quote mark and I'm gonna use a plus which just appends things together um, and we'll type out we'll get our, our reference variable here which is set symbol and then we're gonna use the method get text so it's just gonna fill uh, set symbol dot get text with whatever the person has uh, typed in um, 
and then I'm gonna put another quote mark there. So, uh, so we've got. Huh, I wonder why I can't do that. So I want to put a quote, and there we go. So now this stuff is in quotes, this stuff is in quotes, and it's sandwiched in between here because we're using pluses on either side is the value. And that really should be should be it. Okay, let's give this thing a whirl. I'm going to go ahead and start it. And we'll go into my phone here. And I'm just going to tap where it says type a symbol. I'm going to put, uh, let's see, I'll put a new symbol. Let's put uh, MSFT. That's for Microsoft. Okay, that's cool. That works. What's another symbol? How about, um, well, I can point something out here. So let's say I just wanted to put C in. You can see that uh, it does not erase uh, the previous symbol. So in the next video, what we're going to do um, is talk about. Uh, error corrections um, for people that that put in um, the wrong symbol that's enough for now I will see you next time